We've got a function g of x, and it's defined by this step function here. They ask us to show g of x is not continuous. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need to show, we need to take a look at the limits coming from both sides. So I'm going to take a limit as x approaches. Now where they're not continuous is at 0. Let me show you why that is. If we take a look at this function, for the x values that are less than or equal to 0, so that's essentially this part of the, uh, of the coordinate system, we take on the value 0. So our function takes on the value 0 anytime x is negative or 0. Now, as soon as x becomes just a little bit more than 0, we jump up to a height of 1. So at 0, there's nothing. But then we have that line going that way. So this is the step function that they're talking about right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a limit, or we're going to take a look. We know the discontinuity occurs at 0. Now we're going to prove it. So to prove it, what you need to do is you need to show that the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x is not equal to the limit as f, excuse me, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the function. <clears throat> so this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. Well, we know for all x values from the left, we know that f of x is equal to a height of 0. And of course, the limit of a constant is equal to that constant. Now, here's where it's going to get messy because this is not going to be the same as this guy. Watch. The limits as x approaches 0 from the right side, coming in from the right side, well, all the function values coming in from the right side are up at a height of 1. So f of x is 1 for all x values coming in from the right side. And so this is equal to 1. And what you notice is that the limit from the left is not the same as the limit from the right. Okay, and even though, even though the last one would be to check what is f at one, excuse me, what is f at zero? What is f at that guy? Well, f at zero is zero. Even though these two guys match, all three of them don't match, and we're required to have all three match in order for the limit to exist. So this right here. This is your reason for no continuity for it being discontinuous. I'll say it that way. Okay. Reason for discontinuity at x equals zero. Now, if you tried at any other x value, it would be continuous. But here, it's clearly not continuous because we have this what we call jump discontinuity.